Okay, so we were talking about the language Karaitika, yes? Yes. So please tell me about the language a little bit. The language Karaitika, the origin is uh, the Greek language, which used to be spoken by the time when Karaites, or Karaim, I mean, you know, in Hebrew, uh, lived here by the time uh, of the Byzantine Empire. Mm -hmm. That means in Istanbul. That means before the, the uh, takeover of the, before the Ottoman Empire came, mm -hmm. and from that time being, all people, uh, all families, current families, uh, spoke this language till today. And I also know certain words, mm -hmm. and I can make uh, sentences and uh, comprehensive mm -hmm. language which I learned from my parents, mm -hmm. uh, my relatives, and, uh, uh, to a certain age, uh, which we all spoke at home. Mm -hmm. But nowadays we speak Turkish, which is more current. Uh, right. Okay. So the language Karaitika consists of ancient Greek, yeah, Byzantium Greek? Yes. Uh, Byzantium Latin, yes? Byzant Byzantium Greek mm -hmm. language, which is... Uh, the old um, Greek language, which the, the Greek people, or origin of uh, Greek and Greece, who used to live in Istanbul, mm -hmm. speak the nowadays Greek language. Mm -hmm. Our Karaitika language is uh, the old, ancient time mm -hmm. Greek, mm -hmm. and there's a, 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 lot, a lot of uh, words which are different mm -hmm. between ancient Greek and between ancient I mean Greek between modern and Greek and Karaitika. Modern Greek. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, can you tell me a little bit about, as far as you know, the history of the Karaites of the Karaim here in Istanbul? When did they come? How many people were there? How many families? I wouldn't know how many families or the population of the uh, community here in Istanbul by the time of the old time. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's uh, probably more populated by the time the old, the old centuries. Mm -hmm. Or what's uh, up to now. Mm -hmm. The latest... Uh, Meaning there were more back then than there are now, is what you're saying, yeah? Back, the farther you go back, the more Karaites there were. Yes, yeah? probably, yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes the thing. Okay. It's a few hundred people who used to live. Maybe 500 people used to live a few centuries ago. Mm -hmm. And now they, they became less and less now. Mm -hmm. up to now. And when you were growing up, when, when you were a little child, how many Karaites approximately were there in Istanbul? I think maybe 100 to 120 people, uh, mm -hmm. maybe 150 mm -hmm. when I was very mm, a child. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, certain families moved, mm -hmm. certain families uh, increased because they had less and less children born, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the population didn't grow, mm -hmm. and uh, as far as I know, by the time of the Second World War, many, many families didn't have children mm -hmm. at that period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because and of the war. Because of the war, probably, and uh, uh, that made a loss in the population. Right, I understand. Mm -hmm. Now, when you were when you were a child, you remember the the Karaite synagogue was it open every Shabbat, and were there a lot of people that came? Yes, I remember a lot of people came. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say about the Shabbats, there were a few people, but when there was uh, all the Moadim and the, mm -hmm. there were so many people in the synagogue mm -hmm. that we sometimes uh, couldn't enter and ah. we stayed out <laughs> in the courtyard. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And was the synagogue open also every Shabbat back then? Yes, it was mm -hmm. open by that time. And how many people approximately would come every Shabbat? I, was, I, I don't remember this. Mm -hmm. I don't remember this because I was in school and I didn't... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and... But it's for sure that uh, every Shabbat uh, synagogue was opened. Uh, 
mm-hmm. at the session of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and and what do you know about the history of the synagogue? Well, what I've heard, uh, yes. happened to know, this synagogue was built in very ancient times, mm-hmm. then destroyed by either by fires, mm-hmm. earthquakes, and completely out of view. Then it was rebuilt. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Ottoman times, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know the, the dates, mm-hmm. uh, the period, a few times, because in those times all, uh, the whole area in the district was of wooden buildings. Mm-hmm. When there mm-hmm. was a fire, the, the, the whole district burned down. Mm-hmm. 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 And, uh, the latest, I would say, this was ni- late 19th century, there was a big fire and then mm-hmm. it was rebuilt and, mm-hmm. and at every, that period, uh, the sultans gave uh, their consent for making this rebuilt anew, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for restore, mm-hmm. for sometimes restore mm-hmm. the synagogue. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had a few permits. A few what? A few permits. Permits. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, signed by the sultans and all their surroundings. Yeah. For making, uh, we had uh, permission to make a renovation or rebuild or um, all the things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some of them have disappeared and very few left. Mm-hmm. And this, Mm-hmm. Uh, what we're saying is uh, the, the condition, the latest, I would say, it was uh, maybe a hundred years ago, it was rebuilt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as the aspect and the, uh, the building itself is of wood, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. still today, we kept, mm-hmm. we made the uh, Innovation of some wood. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Up as here. as is, yeah. is, is, is told to us by also the I mean the other the rabbinite. Mm-hmm. They say they also have very old synagogues. Mm-hmm. But the. Yeah. The interesting thing is that they themselves say that we kept the original, which they don't have. Mm-hmm. So specifically, the old, 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 uh, outstanding view of the old. Mm-hmm. Meaning, the rabbinites say that the Karaite synagogue is is very old. It's very old, and we kept the ancient. I mean, we didn't paint or destroy it. What was the original? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kept it preserved, in other it's words. Preserved, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and so now, getting back to the language Karaitika. Yes. So, um, can you say a couple of words in Karaitika? Let's say, how would you say? Uh, Let's say. Uh, I don't know. Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom to. Uh, to uh, everybody and uh, welcome to Istanbul. Shabbat is Sabato in Sabato. Greek, mm-hmm. also in Karaitika. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, let's say we greet each other with, uh, say, Nacheretis Tumen. Nacheretis Tumen is uh, we greet each other. Uh huh. But this is also in Greek. Yeah. It's not the word. That's in modern Greek, you mean? In modern Greek. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's right. I'll say a word, in two okay. words, which is not in, in modern Greek. Okay. Afkemen na paeno. This means, let me go. Uh huh. Which is in modern Greek, afisemen na figo. Okay. 
Now Figo is now Payeno uh -huh. to, to go. Or Af Afkemen is Afisemen in modern day. It's different. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so change. Now La Lusumen, La Lumen, Karaitika, La Lumen is Milu Milame. Speak. Mm -hmm. Different. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are many words when you ask which are very, very different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For example, there are some words, for example, how can you greet the new weapons? Mazal Kalona Ehis? Kalona Ehis, Kalona Ehis. Mazal, Mazal, Kalona um, Mazal is Mazal, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. in Kalo Hebrew yeah, of course. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. But the rest is Greek, well, also modern. Mm -hmm. Ehis. That you have. Mazal kalone nahis. Naehis. Naehis is also in modern Greek. Yeah, modern Greek, but it's a mixture of Greek and. So there's some modern Greek mixed in, but a lot of also yes, old yes, Greek yes, as yes, well. Yes. Byzantine Hebrew. Greek. Mm -hmm. And Hebrew mixed in. And you said also some Latin mixed in? Yes. It's also Kalchuni. Some... Kalchuni. These are things Latin. Kalchunia is uh, also Karaitika. Kalchunia is the special cooking with the, they make. In cream also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, like chomet maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Kuban. Kuban. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Degrikas. De Degrikas is de Catalavenis in modern. Is uh huh. Degrikas. Degrikas. This is this is la lo. Do you understand what I am telling you? Degrikas. This is la lo. It's in Karaitika. Mm -hmm. Catalavenis is in modern Greek. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so it's similar, but it's it's different. Different words. Different words completely altogether. Different oh, words. completely different words. Yes, Greekas okay. and Catalavenis. They're completely different completely words. Different words. Uh -huh. I understand. Okay, I think I'm gonna. It's already 12 minutes here, so I'm gonna. I'll stop the recording. So, do you have any final words? What do you What do you see about the future of the Karaite community here in Istanbul? Uh, by the time being, uh, we have uh, very few. And, uh, and our community now is uh, less and less and uh, the thing is that uh, the population we have is the, the age yeah. as uh, aged people. Yeah. So they are not newborn, they were uh, no, no more newborn and uh, I think in a few years we will we'll be less and less. Yeah. So, I can't say how many years we can last, but it's, it's going to finish. Yeah, I understand. But here, this is the future. This is the future. He is the key. This person here is the key. Sure. He is, no. Sure. Because he's the only one who wants to, to take yes, it to yes, the next he's, generation. He's willing, he's yeah, yeah. Yes, okay, Tov, said it more, so I'm going to stop the recording. So we'll say goodbye in the meantime from the uh, old bazaar in Istanbul, Turkey. And we've been speaking here with, oh, what's, please give me your phone, your name again. Joseph Sinani. Joseph Sinani. We've okay. been speaking here with Joseph Sinani, one of the leaders of the Karaite community in Istanbul.